wanted to ask you about that comeback. So I think 22 points from losing position, you got to the second highest total in the Premier League. Clearly a trait um, of your team and ability to do that. On the, how did you how did you steal the qualities that are required to do that in this group? Um, yeah, I think it's 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 uh, it's something that's been consistent throughout my sort of coaching career. I think if you you go back. You know, right to the very start, most of my teams, well, all of my teams had that sort of trademark of, of kind of, you know, um, being able to to turn around results or winning games late. Um, part of that is just the, the actual game model itself, which, as simple as it sounds, um, you know, when you when you're so committed to playing a certain way, um, yeah, you know, the score almost becomes irrelevant. So. Yeah, I think with a lot of teams, you know, when they fall behind, they have to either change their approach or find a different approach. Or when they're winning, they maybe change their approach. With us, whether we're winning or losing, we we won't change our approach. So, you know, when you, when when you know, like we did on the weekend, when we concede, it's not like the team are then going, well, okay, what do we do now that we've conceded? We just keep going. And uh, I think when there's that sort of clarity um, of purpose, it, it makes it easier for the players then to, to look for the solutions in just the way we play rather than sort of looking for something that's, you know, not a constant in our game plan. And um, I think that helps them because there's always a sense of a little bit of anxiety or desperation, particularly when you're getting late in games and you feel it in the stadium and the supporters because they all want to win that, you know, how do you navigate that? And I think I've always felt the best way to navigate that is to have clarity about how we're going to go about it. And I think... Um, I've seen it with this group of players as well. You know, that that doesn't we, we, there isn't that sort of desperation when we're chasing a result. It's just let's just keep doing what we've been doing. And in terms of keeping your players calm in those situations where they do go wide, is it the sort of thing that they feed, they feed, each, they feed each other once you've done it once or twice? Yeah. You know that you can do it. So. Yeah, yeah, that 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 becomes sort of part of the process. So again, because you can you can get affected by you know. You, invariably they'll look at the scoreboard and there's you know, 86, 87 minutes and you can get really anxious but I don't think you know, we try and still in them not to, to worry about that and, and sometimes it gets dismissed when you know we score a lot of late goals where we're already ahead as well and people kind of dismiss that but that's part of that process as well is that you just keep going till you know, irrespective of the result so even if you're winning comfortably you go and try and score another goal rather than sort of shore up the game um, but yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, it's it's it's. I think it's a it's a byproduct of kind of everything else I, I try and instill in the team in terms of the way we play. And um, like I said it's been a, it's kind of been a constant in my career. Um, just going back to what you said about Timo Werner, you mentioned you still see some improvement in him. Um, and you touched on maybe it might be as he gets used to what you do here. But is there sort of an individual improvement you're trying to get out of him as well? And when it's a loan spell after the season? Yeah, um, yeah, because I mean, we, we, we probably play a little bit differently. Um, obviously, um, you know, he, he's always played in a kind of, you know, fairly um, certainly at Leipzig and, and earlier in his career in teams that were, were fairly aggressive anyway. And, and you know, he's played in those wide areas. But you know, there are sort of some more distinct things we do in, in terms of um, our wide players, but also just. You know, him getting used to the intensity of the way we train um, and the intensity in which we play. I think probably from a physical perspective, that's been his biggest sort of adjustment. And, and it's like all the other players we've sort of signed. It takes them a little while. You know, apart from the guys who came in right at the start of pre-season, <coughs> even for somebody like Brendan, it's taken them a while to really get to that physical standpoint where they can, you know, um, training is a they feel like they're getting stronger at training, and then that transfers to to games. Um, but like I said, it's 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 a small window. But I I think I've said before, even when I signed it, but I, I've done it with loan players before. I don't look at it as a six month deal. You kind of treat them like everyone else, and hopefully get improvement uh, over a longer period. Just lastly, you mentioned something earlier on about attacking players and then being judged for goals and assists, and it sounded like there are other things that you look for when hmm. you're judging or attacking players. Can you sort of expand on that? What, what are the other qualities you want? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's no sneaker in our team. I mean, you know, part of sort of our big strength this year is our ability to really be aggressive in 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 the way we 
sort of press other teams, and that starts with our attacking players. I mean, and that's where I think Sonny's been unbelievable for us this year. I mean, even on the weekend, you know, he kept harassing, kept chasing, and we scored a lot of goals this year just by our front three um, really having an appetite to to be our first form of defence, and we've won a lot of balls in that front third, of which. Invariably, they're the beneficiaries of because then they get their goals and assists. But that's a big part of it. You know, you need somebody who's going to, uh, apart from the goals and assists, in, in a in, in a defensive sense, will 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 be an instigator in that for us. And and then there's some other stuff around, sort of you know, some structural stuff that you know it, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Whether your player's a wide player or a central player, and um, you know, there's there's some finer details in there where you know it can help us as a team, both in our build up. Um, you know, how you can contribute to our build-up um, and then also, like I said, in a defensive sense. So all those things. Look, there's no doubt you're playing the front third, you've got to score goals and, and, and make goals as well. That's that's still a big measure, obviously, for, for me as well. But, you know, you need all these other things as well. George. <coughs> Well, no, not just this season, as I said before, it's 26 years of it, so you kind of know. And, um, yeah, I think if I want the players to be sort of clear headed in that moment, it won't help if I'm jumping around and screaming my head off, you know, it doesn't really. And it's not me anyway. I mean, it doesn't mean I don't internally, you know, feel the anxiety and, and, and all those kind of things. Um, but I've, I've learned that, you know, at, uh, as I said, over the course of my career, that in those moments, because I still, I mean, may be needed in those moments. You know, we scored and we made a substitution straight away, put Pierre on. So if I'm kind of running down the touchline just thinking we've scored and we've won, then I don't think I'm helping the team, you know. It's, but that doesn't mean in, internally I'm not running. It'd probably help me if I did it physically as well. But, um, but you know, I, I think, again, my role in that point of time, and, and again, it's just me, it's not, it's not, I think this is the way it should be. It's just me as a person. It's the best way I can deal with sort of what's what's happening, and and I think that helps. And my role in that moment is trying to help the players. No, he's he's doing all he can. As, you know, I think he mentioned he's training well and he's presenting himself and. You know, he's not happy, he's, he's hasn't played enough, I, I understand that. It's, there's probably other players in there who are equally as unhappy um, who haven't been playing, but that's OK. I, I understand that, they're human beings. So what I look at is you know, how they're training, what their attitude's like, and, and when presented with opportunity, are they are they ready to contribute? Um, Pierre certainly has been, um, but I said, as I said, there's others in that boat as well. They're, they're all pushing. Each, they're all pushing each other, mate. There's no, um, you know, there's no individual competitions in there. It's about, you know, like I said, what I see every day, what I see in during game time, and and um, always makes the, these decisions with the ultimate sort of backdrop of what's going to be best for the team. Um, yeah, probably. I think he's an outstanding manager. I, I rate him so highly. He's one of the ones I've always rated highly. Not just because, you know, longevity in the game means something, especially at this level. And, you know, whether it was at Everton or the difficult job he had at Man U, you know, he went abroad, he's never stopped coaching. And I think he's done a brilliant job at West Ham. Anyone who thinks otherwise, I mean, the team they are today um, and, the, you know, the players they've got there, you know, they've got some high quality footballers in that team and I think they're going to get better. Um, people are questioning, but again, it's I guess it's it's a bit of sort of today's world we live in where, you know, there's, there's always a short term kind of reflex to everything that happens, but um, I've got no doubt he's one of the outstanding managers in the game.